Hello friends, welcome to programming knowledge. In this video, we will see that how to use in keyword with MySQL query. The in keyword basically it allows you to determine if a specified value matches any value in a set of values that we have specified in the query. Uh, you will understand it better uh, if we do it uh, with example. Let us first open terminal. SQL. Okay, so let me first see the list of databases that we have. Okay, so we have data test database here, just use that. Okay, Let's, uh, list of tables. We have stone table here. Select star from student. Okay, so these are the records. So let us see one example. Select star from student where let's say roll number. Now we use in operator and then we pass the list of possible values. Let's say 502, 514, and 518. As you can see, 502 roll number, 514, and 518 matches with the condition that we have specified in our query. That's why it's displaying only that three records. Uh, you can understand that in operator is an alternative for or operator we can also write roll number is equal to 502 or roll number is equal to 514 or roll number is equal to 518 This will give you the same result, but as you can observe, this query is too lengthy as compared to this one because here we have to repeat the name of the column multiple times. And in this, we have to specify the column number only once and the multiple possible values. Okay, let me just close this. Open MySQL Workbench. Let us see one more example. Select star from student where name in let's say bridging T2. Okay, let me just fire this and it will display only one record because there isn't any record which has the name as between. I will show you select star from student. No, there is no bridging. Okay. Let me write one more. Alex. And we have two records uh, which has name is equal to Alex. That's why it's displaying two times. So this is how you can use in keyword. Thanks for watching.